Okay, I have another one of my books that I made that's got the center insert in it. And I wanted to show you it along with what I used for my closure methods. This is actually a picture hanger. They come like this. There's two different sizes that I happen to have. And I colored this one with some alcohol ink so that it would better match a, a color that, that was used in my book. So I used the one of the pink colors. I've made a pocket for this front page and cut some die cut tags out to go in it. When this opens up this way, there's a pocket here. I've just left it the plain craft colored cardstock because I like for some of it to show in the books. This is a pocket that has tags in it. This opens up. It has a strip here that things can be tucked under. And I put some colorful little clippies to add some, some tags and other places to put things. I made a corner pocket page. I'll show you how to make those little corner pockets for the front one. This opens up. There's two pockets here. I did one of my little die cut envelopes. I don't have this one put together yet to go in this pocket. Here I've made just a little fold over book to go in this one using some of the same pattern papers that I've used throughout the book. This opens up. Another little envelope fits in this pocket. And this is one of my corner pockets. Super easy to make. I'll show you in a minute how to do those. Then the book opens this way, and I took this insert page that I had originally put in and glued it down to make two larger pockets here. This one has one of my mini accordion books with the page protectors in it that goes in this pocket. And then this one just has one of the file folder die cuts in this pocket that other things could be put in. It has the little, I call it my little hidden book or secret book inside with an additional page. And then I added some of the little bitty tiny corner pockets on these. This is just another little mini die cut envelope. I don't have it put together yet, but it goes in, in that book. Then this opens up this way. On this pocket, this page has a pocket, another file folder die cut in that pocket, and then I put another pocket here, and then it's got the large coin pocket in the, the back page of the book. I didn't put a pocket on the back of this book because I figured there was enough pockets with all of the front, and then this one, I wasn't sure if I showed that pocket or not, that pocket there. So, to make these little corner pockets, they are just so super cute and so easy to make. First thing you'll need to do is know what size your your pocket is that you want. This one here, see, I, when I did the pocket, I put one at the top and one at the bottom, added the little clippy because then little things could be clipped just to the top of that pocket as well as tucked in that one. And this was just a separate piece that I stuck in there just to, to show the, the use of the pocket. So, what I did was I started with a square of cardstock. This square happens to be three by three. I scored it at one half inch all the way around the four edges and then cut it down the middle. I've drawn lines on this so that you can better see it. Otherwise, the scored lines just don't seem to show up as well. So when you cut it in half, this is similar to what you're going to have. This was from one of the smaller pockets, so that's the reason for the difference in the size. So once you've got it scored and you've got it cut in half, then when you you trim it, you're going to want to notch all of your edges and trim everything away to where it's not going to show on the front side of your, your little corner pocket. This one is all put together, and it's going to go in another book. I've also sponged the edges with some distress ink just to because it'll the book it's going to go in warranted that. But I wanted to show you another way that we used to use these and do them when I first got some of my embossing folders, and I would make these as photo corners for larger photos when I would do scrapbook layouts. And you run the your corner piece 
through your embossing folder. This one was just the dots, and you can see I've, I brushed the edges and the top a little bit so that the dots showed up more. But because this bumpy edge makes it harder for gluing down on your paper, what you can do is you can take your phone folder and just that edge that's going to be folded back, run it over it, and it will smooth that down enough that when you fold that back, and then you put your tape or your adhesive to actually glue your pocket down onto its surface, it works a lot easier. It adheres a lot better because you don't have that rough embossed edge to, to keep your tape from not being completely flat. So that was just another corner pocket. And you can make them any size you want by however big you make your square. Now you'll notice on the smaller ones, I didn't use the full half inch edge because I didn't really need to. So I only used a quarter of an inch. So once you know what size you want your little corner pocket to be, you can determine how wide you want your little tabs that will fold around to the back side to be and then adjust your measurements accordingly. So I hope you'll try some new little photo corners